It's time for On Point, where we speak to experts to delve deeper into some of the key issues in the spotlight right now. If you're Korean, at one point in your life, you must have wondered, how is it scientifically possible that I'm so good looking? <laughs> well, it turns out the look has been around for around 1,700 years. Well, jokes aside, last month a study was published in Current Biology, a renowned science journal, which revealed that the faces of ancient Koreans from between 15 and 1700 years ago were very similar to that of Koreans today. And well, to find out more about what this new study could provide going forward, we have Tun Song Won, Director of Bioinformatics Division at Clinomics Inc. with us today. A very good morning to you, Mr. Tun. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. And well, my first question to you, uh, well, could you briefly walk us through why your team started this research and how it was conducted? Yeah, um, first, uh, this project was the large scale research collaboration. So we joined the international research team, which includes uh, University of Vienna and the museum in Korea. Uh, the Three Kingdom period is very t a critical time point in the cultural and genetic uh, formation of modern Koreans. Uh, also, there has been no samples from this period sequenced and analyzed yet. So it should be the uh, important scientific resource for understanding Korean history. So we are very thankful for the archaeologists who excavate uh, the bones and the museums uh, that allow us to uh, analyze the samples. Uh, also, the every collaborators has uh, their own uh, roles. Uh, the museum and archaeologists, uh, they obtain the samples yeah. and they give us the uh, permissions. And University of Vienna, uh, they extract the DNA from the bone and they do the sequencing. Uh, also, we have a company called Parabon uh, NanoRap. Uh, they predicted the face uh, based on the genomic data. And the most of the bioinformatics knowledge was done by the University of Vienna and us. Yeah. Right. So that's some of the backgrounds and how the study was done. But what about the results? How close are we compared to 1,700 years ago? Oh, uh, actually, uh, the resolution of the prediction was not uh, high, uh, to be honest. Uh, but uh, we can compare uh, the, the, the phenotypes of the, the, the ancient samples and uh, modern human. Uh, uh, actually, the eight individuals uh, is not enough to reconstruct all face diversity in Korea. Uh, however, we can tell that the, all the eight individuals has uh, brown eyes and dark hair. Also, they, uh, there were some variation in uh, facial shapes and the variation of the skin tones and some variation in uh, eyelid morphology. Uh, all these features are the, the common features in modern Korean as well. So therefore, it, it, it means uh, the, the facial features suggest the genomic con uh, continuity in Korea uh, for the past uh, 1700 years. And well, let's compare it to other studies um, in other countries. What have other places around the world done with this kind of study? And how significant is the result of Koreans compared to studies done elsewhere? Yeah, um, uh, actually, many studies have, have investigated uh, the genetic continuity of their target population. Also, forensic uh, facial reconstruction using skulls uh, alone uh, is being done since uh, 1895. Uh, so this is not being uh, kind of new thing uh, technology, but in case uh, when the score is not available, uh, it gets uh, tricky. Uh, so uh, DNA only based prediction can help. Uh, there is uh, information on only one similar studies on Egypt Egyptian mummies, uh, but to my knowledge, uh, this is not published yet. However, uh, this doesn't mean the DNA based pre uh, facial pre uh, feature prediction is a uh, new technology technology. Uh, actually, it used uh, by the forensic department uh, to help uh, solve the court case of the day case. Yeah. OK, so now going back to the study that you've done, um, you've briefly touched this before. But where do you go from now? What are the results going to lead us as uh, hum humanity when we find you know, uh, 1,700 years ago, faces from 1,700 years ago? Oh, yeah. Uh, first of all, this uh, this is the first ancient genome study from inside the Korean Peninsula in the Three Kingdom period. So uh, this study explores uh, genetic relationship of eight in, uh, ancient individuals who lived in Kaya kingdoms uh, 1700 years ago and modern Koreans. 
Uh, this study could answer the such questions like uh, where these eight individuals, uh, ancestors of modern uh, Koreans, uh, how close the populations from Japan, Korea, and China were uh, 1,700 years ago. Uh, also, uh, were the Koreans already genetically homogeneous during this, pe uh, this three kingdom period? Uh, another question can be the, what these eight uh, individuals were like. Yeah. Uh, it is uh, important to note that uh, we observed genetic diversity in just uh, eight individuals. Yeah. And well, going back to Tuyun's question, really, well, now nowadays uh, K-pop is very much a huge worldwide phenomenon that people are really admiring everywhere. And well, how would you really then define the K-pop look, and how does it tie into the uh, just the generations of well evolution that we had in terms of uh, our facial features? Oh, so, so sorry, can you repeat? Right, so um, how has the Korean look really evolved to what we have today as um, we can see today, uh, the K-pop look that many artists feature? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, so, uh, I, I, can uh, I, I don't 100% understand, understand your question, but uh, normally the modern Koreans has uh, some features like uh, well, dark hair and brown eyes. So we can also find the features in the ancient genomes. Right, I see. And yeah. well, what are your future plans for your project um, going forward? Oh, yeah, uh, that's a good question. So this is the only uh, uh, ancient genome data in Korean Peninsula in the kingdom period. Uh, this more south uh, part. So if we can get some data from the north part, uh, we can connect the dots uh, of the Korean uh, human evol evolution. I see. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Hope you have a lovely weekend and hope to speak to you again soon. Yeah, thank you very much.